Matt. How are you doing? Hey, uh, good. How are you? Good. Cool, yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to tell me that psychic story so I could record it. Remember how I told you I was going to wanted to record that? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. Um, do you want to do that now? Yeah, that works for you. Okay, sure, sure. Well, it's a long time ago. Your dad and I had been married for maybe about a year or two, so I must have been about 28, something like that, and lived in San Francisco. And I can't remember how it happened, but somebody told me about a psychic, and you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not really into that kind of stuff, and wasn't then, I'm not now. You know, in San Francisco in those days, that was, you know, there was a lot of new agey stuff going on. And I guess, I guess it's something you have to do once, maybe. So I went. And then at some point she said something like, you've been a man for the last 13 lifetimes. And I thought, oh yeah, give me a break. Um, and then she kind of got on a roll and she said, uh, you should have a, a child. You should have a boy. And as if I could order that, you know. And I, I said, well, you know, not kind of really, that's not, not the plan. I'm really not in, in, interested in having kids. And, and she goes, well, your husband, it, it'd be good for your husband. It, uh, that you should do this. And, you know, so I thought it was amusing. It was a little annoying, too, that she's, you know, <laughs> kind of bossing me around. And um, I said, oh, okay, well, thanks. And she said, your husband will die when... Your son is 13, and I said, well, that does not sound real good. Again, I wasn't taking this real seriously. And she said, no, it'll be fine. And I said, well, that doesn't sound fine. And she said, no, it will. It'll be fine. I just thought it was the oddest thing in the world. kind of gave me the creeps, but it was also just seemed absurd. So, you know, there was no plan to have kids. I did not want to have kids. Not an interest of mine. And when I was... Closer to 40, out of the blue, I, I felt sick, and I felt very sick. And within a week, I was kind of semi-conscious with a, with a, a severe case of pneumonia in the hospital. And I, I actually thought that I could die. And I thought if I live, I want to live differently, and I want a family, or at least a child. Obviously, I lived, I sold my business, and um, that was, you know, the plan was you. When we did decide to have kids, and I found out I was pregnant, I remember saying to your dad, uh, well, you better quit smoking, remember what that psychic said? And he goes, yeah. And then right before your 13th birthday, I said, you know, better be careful remember what that psychic said and you know I, mean, I guess I felt a little uneasy and he seemed to just think it was humorous on January 31st which was two weeks after your 13th birthday your dad was on his annual golf trip with his golfing buddies in, in Arizona and I got a phone call that he had had a cardiac arrest he had died and it was probably the you know the worst day of my life probably yours as well when all of this horrible period when your dad unexpectedly died you know just just uh, an absolute nightmare um just horrible with with a, a child um but one thing that made me actually was some consolation was it was remember that she said yeah your husband will die the son's father will die when he's 13 but it'll be all right like cheerfully and like she really believed it and, and there's something about her saying that that has come back to me over and over again that you know that it's all right so do you think she was right it doesn't feel all okay you know i mean you're okay you're a wonderful you know healthy well-adjusted decent human being but it still doesn't seem like it's all okay for a 13 year old to lose their father but in any event hearing her say that or in my memory remembering her saying that even though i don't believe in psychics made me 
it has over the years made me feel better.